So here's some uh, weird example. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it is. I've just kind of drawn it for fun. Um, and we have uh, an AC source and this thing is uh, uh, doing something with it, an amplifier or current buffer or something, I don't know, whatever it is. And we're interested in the current flow in this section here. And so we want to grab our multimeter and go in and measure the, uh, measure the current flow. So if we want to measure current, uh, we need to actually get our meter into the circuit some way. So we can maybe go in and lift up this resistor and insert our, our, uh, our, our uh, current meter. And then we can measure the current flow through here. And so that might work. Um, another thing that we could do is to try to measure the uh, voltage across this resistor. If we know what, what value this resistor is, we could measure the voltage across it and do a calculation and measure the, uh, uh, measure the current. Um, let's say that we wanted to uh, use an oscilloscope. Um, we could try to measure the voltage across that resistor with an oscilloscope, but um, we're going to have troubles. Uh, the oscilloscope has a probe and a ground, so that ground is actually connected to earth ground. So you really can't set the ground here and the probe here. That would, that would move this node to ground and might blow up your circuit, or to put the ground here, that might blow up your circuit. So there's a trick that people do. Um, you could put one scope probe uh, here and one scope probe here, a different scope probe, like say this is channel A, this is channel B, and then you could go into your, into your scope and set uh, mathematics, uh, show me B minus A, and it'll show you the uh, difference across this uh, resistor. So that's, that's often used. Um, so let's say that we actually wanted to go in and use our uh, 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 voltmeter. And so I have a nice six and a half digit uh, multimeter, uh, HP uh, 34001. So yeah, so let's go measure this. And um, so I looked at the data sheet and it said uh, uh, true RMS voltage, true RMS current. Here we go, so true RMS current. Uh, oh, five kilohertz. Oh, that's as fast as this thing can go. If you try to measure any circuit faster than five kilohertz, your, your, your current meter stopped working. So this instrument's out. I can't, I can't use a current meter. Oh, well, can I use a voltage meter? Oh, I just made the voltage across there. Okay. Uh, AC voltage. Oh, it's better. Oh, 300 kilohertz. Oh. That's as fast as it'll go, 300 kilohertz. Hmm, okay, well, my circuit's operating at a megahertz. So I uh, can't use that, so megahertz is out. Uh, can't use voltmeter, can't use, a, can't use a DVM. I guess I have to use the oscilloscope. I guess I have to go in and do this uh, um, two probe, you know, channel A, channel B, subtract the two. My scope's good to 100 megahertz, so I guess I can do it that way. Um, but let's say I don't have access to that resistor or there is no resistor there. Uh, I guess I could put my own resistor in the circuit. Uh, that might work. Um, so if you've ever seen one of these clip-on ammeters that uh, people doing electrical wiring in houses use, like 600 amp uh, clip-on ammeter, wouldn't that be cool if we could have a clip-on ammeter that we could just clip on this circuit and uh, put it in the oscilloscope? So yes, there are such things. And I've had several in my career. I had a really nice set um, from Textronics. They were like $1,000 each, very expensive. Um, but uh, they would allow you to do that. You could clip onto this and uh, measure the uh, measure the AC current. Um, I have an old one, so I have this one, which is a Hewlett Packard um, part number one 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 zero B AC current probe. So it has a has a little opening here. You push just like a regular scope probe. You open this up, and it opens up, and you can stick in the wire and close it around there. And um, it says right on it, uh, one millivolt per milliamp. So if you had one milliamp of current, you have one milliamp of voltage. 
Uh, so let's try this thing out. It's an oldie but a goodie. Um, it does have a, a, a ground on it, not, not really necessary usually, but um, you can put that on ground just to keep things quiet, I guess. And then uh, you can use this uh, clip-on ammeter. So let's, uh, let's, something, let's, let's set something up and, uh, and measure it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, bring in a function generator. Okay, so my function generator is grounded and I'm going to bring over and I'm going to um, run it into a 200 ohm resistor. Okay, and I'm going to put um, 20 volts, 20 volts uh, peak to peak uh, onto that resistor. So we should have um, 20 divided by 200 is 100 millivolts, 100 uh, milliamps. So we should have 100 milliamps flowing in this thing. Um, so um, let's go see if we can see it. And uh, this is going to be at one, one megahertz. So we're going to set this up. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take uh, a T off of this line and run it into the uh, run it into the scope, and this will be on channel um, channel one. And then I'm going to put my current probe here, and I'm going to run it into channel two channel. See, this is actually this is going to go into channel three. And this is going to go into channel one. Okay, so the uh, probe is going to go into channel one, and the original signal across the 200 ohms is going to go into channel three. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, this is channel three. Uh, so this is our signal coming in, our one megahertz signal coming in. Let's turn on the uh, turn on the probe, and let's connect the probe. I'll clip it around the wire. And uh, let's see here, let's get it in phase. There we go. So I clipped it on one way, it's 180 degrees out of phase. I, I turned it around, clipped it on the other way. I'll show you that later. Um, now it's in phase. So um, the uh, purple trace is the signal and it's on five volts per division, so five, 10, that's 10 volts, 10 volts, that's 20 volts peak to peak. And the um, probe is on uh, 20 millivolts per division, so 20, 40, 50. So 50 and 50 is 100, so 100 millivolts, 100 millivolts is 100 milliamps, so it's working. Um, we could turn on measurement Let's see here, measure, measure everything. And we could look up here. Um, that's gonna be too, probably too small for you to read. But basically the uh, uh, peak to peak is 20 volts and the uh, peak to peak is 100 millivolts. So uh, channel one, channel three, so that's working great. Now the, um, so how fast of a, um, let me turn this on, oops. Turn this off. There we go. So how ah these switches bounce sometimes. Like it just did there. Don't bounce. Okay. So uh, let's let's take a look at the uh, data sheet for this for this probe, and uh, see what type of frequency response it has. Uh, so before we do that, uh, here's the current probe. Uh, it just opens and closes. I had it on this way, and it was 180 degrees out of phase. So I just flipped it over and put it on this way and it got into phase. So that's all I did there. All right. So uh, current probe data sheet. Yeah. So this current probe claims that it will operate down to 1700 Hertz, um, which is pretty low. And it's upper minus three dB point is 45 megahertz. So this should, thing should be operated, op, can operate all through the handbands there up to 45 megahertz. 
and if it has a capacitive load, it, it'll only operate to 35 megahertz, but plenty fast enough. But that's a 3 dB point. So what is a 3 dB point? Well, this thing's going to roll off as we go up in frequency. So let's go back to here. Let me uh, put the probe back on. There we go. So the probe's on. And I'm going to increase the frequency. And it continues to work just fine. It still seems to be, oh, there you go. It's starting to roll off a little bit there. So turn this up a bit. So if I go up to right about there, it's starting to, the yellow trace is starting to get smaller. So we're starting to roll off. So we're starting to roll off around eight, eight megahertz, eight megahertz. And, uh, the 3 dB point is where it's half, I think. And so let's keep it going. Oops, I need to change scales on my generator. And so the 3 dB point is kind of somewhere in, maybe somewhere in there, 11 megahertz. So not quite the data sheet. I don't know what I'm doing differently. But it runs up to 17 megahertz and we get about half and then it, my generator only goes to 22 megahertz. So at 22 megahertz, yeah, maybe 22 megahertz, it's still kind of around half. So it's operating. Certainly at 35, it's going to be way down. So uh, I'm not quite sure why it doesn't match the data sheet, but it does work up to a good, a good frequency, which is hard to do. As, as we saw in all those specifications, what instrument would you go get to measure a very high frequency current. So that was it. This is the HP 1110B uh, current probe. Uh, it looks pretty vintage. Uh, what's the date on this uh, publication here? Uh, do I see a date? Uh, operating note 1982. So.